In this video, we will talk about the Israeli version of the iconic F-15E Strike Eagle and why Israel prefers this fighter when the mission involves destroying enemy positions. Few aircraft in the history of modern military aviation have achieved what the F-15 has achieved. More than 100 victories in aerial combat and no losses. But behind this impressive feat, there is a story that dates back to the 1960s, when the skies began to be dominated by increasingly advanced Soviet fighters. Today we will talk about the F-15 I Han, the thunder of the silent air force. A fighter modified specifically for Israel, with extended range, devastating firepower and a clear mission, to destroy threats before they become fatal. But before we talk about the Han, we need to understand where the F-15 came from and why it remains one of the most reliable weapons in the Israeli arsenal, even now in the era of fifth-generation fighters, such as the F-35. In the late 1960s, the United States faced a dilemma in the skies over Vietnam. The F-4 Phantom II multirole fighters, although modern, were being outclassed by lighter and more maneuverable Soviet aircraft, such as the MIG-2. The increasing losses and the need for air superiority led the U.S. Air Force to rethink its doctrine. And that's when the FX program emerged, which would later result in the birth of the F-15 Eagle developed by McDonnell. The proposal was clear. A pure air superiority fighter, capable of dominating the skies with speed, maneuverability and superior weapons. The first flight took place in 1972. The F-15 not only delivered on its promises, but exceeded expectations with its twin engines, top speed in excess of Mach 2.5, powerful radar and ability to engage multiple targets at once, all of which combined to mark the beginning of a new era. With the success of the F-15A and F-15C, new versions came along, the most important of which was the F-15E Strike Eagle, which added to the original platform the capability for ground attack with surgical precision, without compromising air superiority. This version introduced night navigation systems, infrared sensors and support for guided weapons. It was the natural evolution of an aircraft that already dominated the skies. After the 1991 Gulf War, Israel faced a new strategic challenge with the deployment of Scud ballistic missiles by Saddam Hussein's regime, revealing a worrying vulnerability, the limited ability of the Israeli Air Force to strike targets at long range, with precision and speed. The message was clear. Israel needed a long-range strike platform capable of operating deep into enemy territory, carrying a large volume of weapons, and at the same time engaging hostile fighters, with the F-15E Strike Eagle appearing to be the ideal choice. And so the F-15 was born. In 1994, Israel signed a contract to acquire 25 F-15I fighters, the Israeli version of the F-15E. But as usual, the Israelis did not accept the basic package, they wanted more, and so the F-15I would come with modified avionics, domestically produced electronic warfare systems, and compatibility with Israeli weapons. The APG-70 synthetic aperture radar allowed terrain mapping and target identification in any weather conditions. The cockpit featured the LBIT helmet and the Kaiser holographic display which gave pilots a level of situational awareness that is rare even by modern standards. The Pred and Whitney engines, with 29,000-1,000 pounds of thrust each, allow the ham to reach speeds in excess of Mach 2.5. And with a range of over 4,300 kilometers without refueling, the F-15I can reach targets as far away as Iran and return safely. The F-15I is a true flying arsenal, capable of carrying up to 8 tons of weapons, from our air missiles to guided bombs such as the jam with penetrating warhead, designed to penetrate meters of concrete before exploding. 
It was precisely with these weapons that in September 2024 8F-15I fighters from Squadron 69 took off from the Radzer and Ruma Beirut base. The target was Rasan Nasala, leader of the Rezbola, with the aircraft dropping a precise sequence of J-dams weighing 900 kilograms each, over his underground command center, resulting in the complete and immediate elimination of the target and his headquarters. Since its introduction, the Han has been used extensively in conflicts against targets in Gaza, Syria and Lebanon, with Israeli pilots operating it with an impressive readiness rate. The jet is considered the workhorse of the Air Force, always available and always lethal. Furthermore, the F-15I is believed to have the capability to deliver nuclear weapons, although this aspect remains, of course, highly classified. So why does Israel choose the F-15I over the modern F-35 for decisive strikes? The answer is simple. The F-35 is a stealthy platform, excellent for infiltrating heavily defended areas, gathering intelligence and carrying out surgical strikes, but it is limited in payload and range without refueling. The F-15I, on the other hand, does not hide, it commands respect. When the mission is to eliminate a command center buried tens of meters underground, when the target is more than 2,000 kilometers away and when it is necessary to carry eight heavy bombs with precision guidance, the Han is the natural choice. He is literally the thunder that comes from the sky.